to need is scotch tape. Any kind of scotch tape, doesn't matter if it's the cheapest kind you buy and you bought it for 50 cents in the dollar store, half off bin, it, it just needs to be some kind of scotch tape. Um, you need a top coat, clear, for whenever you're finished so it doesn't come off. You need two color nail polishes, any color that you want. Um, I chose these colors because I really like bright colors. Um, but also because they're completely different and I think it'll show up easier. I'll show you guys how to do this. Um, whenever I'm painting my toes, I try to use like extreme wear or like like no chip nail polish because you know, it's on your toes and I get around barefoot a lot so. But um, if you are doing black with any other color, um, usually if black is um, your base coat and not your tipping color, it's really hard to get your tipping color on because I mean it's really hard to cover black. So I would suggest making black your tipping color and your other color your base color. But that's up to you, whatever you want to do. I chose these two colors. Base color, couple coats. You want to make sure it is completely, completely dry. Like, completely. Because if it is not completely dry, whenever you push your tape down onto your nail polish, it is going to stick to your your tape and it's going to come off with it because it was wet when you put it on there. So, you want to take your tape and you want to put your fingers all over it and you want to dull it down like a whole lot because if it again if it is too sticky and you put it on your nail polish and you rip it off it is going to take off that nail polish so we're definitely not wanting to do that so make sure your tape length is you know a little bit wider than the nail you're working on and know about where your natural tip it will be so then you start on one corner Pull this came back a little bit and put it all the way up as far back in the corner as you can. And then take it all the way across. Make sure it's touching the whole way across too. All the way down to the other end of the nail bed. Like so. Make sure it's down completely so your nail polish doesn't run or anything. Just like that. Take your color. Make sure you get enough on your brush. Like so. And take your toe. I like to hold my toe. And go from one end of the toenail. Get a little bit more nail polish on there all the way over to the other end and to make sure it's smooth I actually like to paint like upward instead of across it's just easier for me because like, I'm not an artist or anything yeah okay all the way across after you're done, you're gonna take your your tape, and then you're gonna very gently pull it off, very gently, all the way across. And there's your tip. Do not reuse the same tape as I've tried to before because I don't know. Because the tape, even though if it's not on this side, it'll still get on your fingernail. So make sure you use a new piece of tape for every toe. And then this is what I use my Q-tips for, which again, you don't have to do this. You can use like your fingernails or whatever. Thick fingernail or your fingers and twist your Q-tip. And then any excess, excess, yeah, that is left. Just kind of wipe it off on there. Did I get it? Yep. And there's your tip.